Hi guys, uh, this is Crispin from FX Algo Trader. Um, welcome to this little video. Um, I'm going to talk you through an interesting application which we've developed. Uh, it's an Excel interface um, which sits on top of MetaTrader and allows you to configure all the FX Algo Trader modules and indicators um, through Excel. So it provides a very clean and quick way to make modifications and tuning. Um, changes to any FX Algo Trader indicators which you have. Um, so let's just have a look at the interface to start with. Um, the first thing to mention is there are two um, two sheets basically within Excel here. So you've got a, a navigation pane on the left hand side and then another spreadsheet which is called Excel CS, Excel Control Suite. Um, these have been written in earlier versions of Excel um, to try and make sure they're compatible with Excel 2007. Um, and in actual fact, they're written originally in 2003, but um, I've made changes in kind of 2002 and what have you to t and check the the uh, portability. First thing you do when you actually load the interface is go into a setup screen, which is here. Um, this basically allows you to set up paths for where the files directory or files folder and the libraries folder are stored uh, on your hard drive. Typically they're, they're underneath the experts folder um, which is underneath the, the base install for your MetaTrader uh, application. The actual names, the paths uh, vary depending on the actual broker's application you're using. Uh, but once you've actually set those up you can simply run a little check algorithm which basically makes sure that all your files are in the correct place. You can see the, it's running a bit slowly here because I've got Camtasia running on the screen but you should see that in a second when it finishes all the actual tick boxes for the files. So we've got pivot control data files, they're all ticked um, with the associated data. Pivot executable files, they're all there and critical event control files are all there and finally at the bottom if I just scroll down a tiny bit there's a trend line auto trade executable file which you can see there let's go to have a look at the, the actual pivots modules and how they actually work so this is a daily pivot control module you can see here um, you can actually control up to five currency pairs from this particular screen and each it's a bit like a mixing desk in, in a way. Each pivot has its own control. So this pivot control one here, where the cursor is, is for sterling. So if we enable this um, and just save those settings, what I'm now going to do is go back to MetaTrader and go to a chart, which is actually the sterling, the hourly sterling chart. And you can now see that with the net, with the incoming tick data the actual program, the underlying code is picked up um, that there's a daily pivots module configured to run on the sterling chart and it's displayed the daily pivot levels on the chart for us. Now if we want to make changes to these pivot levels we can very easily. So for example if we want to hide the intermediate pivot levels, click hide M levels, save the settings, go back to MetaTrader and then those levels will disappear in the same way we may want to set uh, a price proximity alert up um, around possibly, let's have a look at the chart again, maybe around the central pivot point, bearing in mind price actions may well test it later. So we can go back in, whoops, go back into our control suite and enable the actual alert system one around the central pivot point PP, give it a threshold of say 15 pips plus and minus. We can select the various different sounds we want. So we may want to let's just use connect.wav and we'll save those settings now. And when we go back on the next tick which comes in, you'll see basically a dotted line above and below the central pivot point, which will be 15 pips above and 15 pips below, which represents an alarm has been set. The actual um, code will also change so it'll say PPA1 and you can see it's just come in now so if we actually look at that in a bit more detail zoom in a little bit 
you can see the actual pivot levels have been set on the chart and Yeah, basically um, what's happened here is the actual thresholds we've set around this central pivot point are in actual fact about 1.5 um, pips because the actual way that MetaTrade or actually ODL securities have been quoting um, recently has changed. You can see they're quoting now down to five decimal places on this uh, Sterling quote. Um, that needs to be changed, I need to change that on the system um, but anyway without further ado let's have a look at some more functionality so let's go back to our control module and we can set up weekly pivots let's go to our weekly pivot control select the sterling controls, enable those save those settings and now if we just zoom out a little bit go to the hourly charts and you will soon see on the next tick the weekly data comes in so you can see the levels WM2, WPP, WM3 etc. We may want to hide the intermediate levels, the M levels on the weekly chart, save those settings go back and on the next tick which comes in those white um, M level weekly piv intermediate pivots will disappear just waiting for a couple of ticks to come in there you go and in the same way we can then layer in the monthly pivot data as well so we select our monthly pivot control enable it save the settings go back to our chart and there you go MR1 you can see um, MM2 etc etc the monthly pivots are going to be much wider obviously um, if we scroll, zoom out a bit, you can now see the array of multi time frame pivots um, displayed on the chart. We can configure um, alerts for any pivot line we want, so each um, each pivot um, screen, so monthly, weekly, daily, will allow you to set, uh, enable, an alert around any specific level you wish. And again, with a set number of pips. Um, so very easy to do, very quick to configure. Um, right, what else can you do with the Excel control suite? So we've looked at pivots. Um, we may want to enable an automated trend line trading system. So we may want to trade off. Let's go down to a slightly smaller time frame. Go down to the hourly chart. And we may want to put a trend line in here. And if, if price action hits this trend line may, wa may want to place an order automatically so I, I configure the trend line, tell the system it's an uptrend and I also then now go into the automated trend line configuration tool here, we can see it's enabled and it's got a 20 channel 20 pip channel above and below so I'll save those settings as well and you can now see the system has picked up the fact that there's a trend line and it's the, the up and down yellow arrows mean that it's configured for bi-directional trading so if price action goes penetrates the actual top channel it'll place a buy order if it breaks through the um, threshold on the underside of the trend line it will close the long order and automatically go short and you can configure that exactly how you wish we've also got uh, median grids in here, actually we haven't, I do apologise um, so anyway you can now see basically the the, the four um, pivot orientated 